everybody, it is Jasmine here today, and I have a very fun Christmas haul video for you guys to show you guys everything I got for Christmas, which includes pops and Stranger Things stuff. It's a lot to get through, so we're just going to get right on into it. And the first thing is, I got this cute little headband from this brand that I wanted this headband for like a super long time. It's by that brand. I don't want to, um, you know, butcher it. But there it is. I've wanted one of these for so long and it's so cute and it's pink and it's got little purple flowers. And yeah, there is the name of it right there. I will put a link to it in the description if they still have it. It was um, on sale last time I checked, but I'm so happy I have it like here. I'll show you guys. And it's actually really comfortable, surprisingly. Like his headbands always hurt my head, but this one's actually really comfortable. And look at that. Look how cute. It's got little purple flowers. They look like little purple blue flowers and it's pink with gold and it's so 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 cute and I love it and it is really comfortable which again is nice because I hate how headbands sometimes are so hard and they hurt but this one is great and it's pretty and I'm just so happy I finally have one because I've won one for so long and the next thing we're gonna go at is this original Sean Cassidy necklace it says Joe Hardy and this is the heart shaped one now if you guys know I do have the oval shaped one I've never had the heart shaped one and now it's in the packaging so I don't want to open it <laughs> at all because it's still sealed like look at that it's Sean and it's the heart shaped one and I'm just like freaking out that it's actually still in the packaging and I have another thing that's Hardy Boys related that's still in the packaging that's just crazy so yeah we have that and then we have the fun Frozen 2 pop pins this is something that Tabby got me which is Elsa and look how cool she is she is so cool and so there she is. We have an Elsa one. And then Tabby got me Stranger Things Season 3 Dustin one right here. You can look at him right there. Which is weird that for the pop pins they had Season 1 for Stranger Things and then Season 3. Like they skipped Season 2. So it's like, oh, okay. And then she got me Steve also right there. So there's Steve. So cool. They also have a Robin. I know they have Eleven and Erica. And... Who else was there? Oh, I want to say Hopper, but I'm not sure. So do not quote me on that. Don't quote me on that. It's been a while since I've looked at those in my store. Only ever gets a few of them in. I have to go to like different box lunches to get the others. But yeah, let's look at our next thing here. That is for my headband. I will put that over there. Okay, next is the other Hardy Boys thing. This is a puzzle that comes in a tin. Look at that. It's never been opened. You can hear it. It's in there. But look at this. It's, this is like so cool. Like I was <laughs> I was freaking out. But this is the puzzle on the back. Now you could also get the Hardy Boys puzzle that comes in a cardboard box also. But I've never seen this one come in a tin. I've never seen it before. So I'm so happy that I have this. It gets to go with all my other Hardy Boys stuff. But you guys know I have a lot of Hardy Boys stuff. But it's got like a little tape at the top. It is so cool. And there's the bottom. Never been opened. Which is crazy that all the pieces are in here. Just chilling out. I don't know what else is in here. Who knows? Maybe there's a bunch of money in here. Who knows? I'm not going to open it to figure it out. But it's so cool. Like part of me wants to open it because I want to play with the puzzle. But another part of me is like, yeah, but it's sealed. Why would you do that? So it's just going to sit as like a little display piece next to obviously eventually when I get my display done for all of that stuff it will all hopefully be displayed together okay next thing here is these frozen two socks that are in the crackers I haven't opened these yet I probably should have but I haven't done it yet so they're just in here I have frozen two socks in here they're hanging out there's six of them they don't show you what's in them in here but you can probably figure it out I feel like you could. I know this was from Target. I know Target had this. So you could probably figure it out. Target's website probably will show you what's in them. So yeah, I haven't opened them yet, but they look so cool. Like the art on these, it's so bad because they're so pretty and I don't want to open them. But obviously I have to open them because I have to get the socks out of there. Just I haven't done that yet. So there is that. That one is done. Just kind of go sit over there. Okay, next thing here is a red box. Tabby got me a hex girl shirt guys like the hex girl shirt from scooby-doo she got me a hex girl shirt i'm freaking out because i love the hex girls and here they are on a shirt look at this it's like i 
Oh my gosh. I saw this on Hot Topic's website and I was like, I need, I need, I need. And each time it would go in stock, it would go out really quickly. So I was really surprised that somehow she managed to get this. I just, I can't even believe this right now. I actually have the Scooby-Doo Witch's Ghost little sample CD that has the Hex Girls song on it. I, lis I listen to it a lot. And I've always been looking for like the full CD because it was like, oh, this is just like a little bit of the CD. Like there is a full one. Never got the full one and I've been looking for it. So really should keep an eye and keep looking for that for all the other fun Hex Girls songs. That just opened, but we're just gonna have to deal with it. And I got this really cool Nike hat here. Look how cool this is. It's got flowers and everything. Definitely perfect for the summertime. In the summer, you get all the floral stuff. You guys know me. I love Hawaiian shirts. And I love that whole thing. So this is definitely me for sure. And I can wear this a lot, you know, with my shorts and purple shirt and blue shirts and pink ones. It'll look great. Look fantastic. I can't wait to wear this. And let's put this. I gotta put my stuff somewhere. I like things everywhere. Okay. And then my grandma got me the Stranger Things Season 2 on DVD. Luckily, I don't have this. Because you guys know, you know me, I have like Stranger Things everything. And this was something that I did not have. I have Season 1 on DVD. I just don't have Season 2. Now, this is the Target Edition, which means that it does have um, like cards inside of it. And obviously, I'm going to open this up because I want to look at those. Now, this does feel kind of like a paper. It was really feels nice though opens up whoa look at that look at the inside of this oh my gosh this is so cool <gasps> what okay here are the cards I found the cards right away good here's this one Lucas and Dustin these look like behind the scenes oh yes 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 yes, yes. look <laughs> have Joe and Finn there you have all the you have the Duffers here one of them I believe and then, oh my gosh, yes, we have David and Millie here. And then we have Noah right here. These are cute. I know if you get the other version, the, was it the 4K version of this, that you do get the other photos. Also, there's different photos in that one. And yeah, that is it because this just then opens up and there's, oh my gosh, there's the Blu-ray. And then the Blu-ray. And then the Blu-ray. There's so many discs. Why is there three? That is so weird. Season two, disc one. Oh, episodes one through three are on. Okay, they're all on separate discs. Gotcha. That makes sense. Now, the Blu-ray discs definitely do look really cool right here. You can kind of see them right there. They look really cool. And then the back ones for the normal DVD ones. They're just... They just say Stranger Things 2 on them. Quite boring, but this isn't boring. Look at that. It's Hopper looking in there. That is cool. I just saw that. I didn't even know they did that. But yeah, it's really cool. I like that a lot. But yeah, they got really lucky that I didn't have this already. Because that then would have been bad. It would have been like, oh yeah, I already have this. <laughs> they got lucky. Because <laughs> you guys know I have like Stranger Things everything. Which brings us to the next thing, which is Stranger Things. See what I mean? I finally got Eleven versus the Demogorgon right here. And you can't see her, but there she is. Eleven versus the Demogorgon. And I would take her out, but I know this is going to take forever to get her back in. And this video might take a really long time, but there she is. She's been out for a while, so if you guys have looked, you probably have seen other people already open her and everything. And it's just, you know, Eleven versus Demogorgon. It's just in one of the movie moments. Well, they call them movie moments. I guess this would be TV show moment <laughs> but yeah which means if I have that one that obviously I have Steve and the Demodog too so here is Steve and the Demodog which I also have right here again these have been out for like a really long time I just haven't gotten them until now but yeah there's Steve and the Demodog right there so cool finally you guys know that I get Steve like everything like typically right away like as soon as it's out I get Steve like <laughs> every single time I always get Steve first but this is one of the things that I didn't get because I was like oh well you know at the time it was like yeah I don't really need that right now like I can wait on them it's fine it'll be okay and then I just kept waiting and waiting and waiting and finally I got them though which is good I can cross that off of my list there Okay, next thing, I got these fun slippers. I've already worn them a bunch. 
Um, I have a bunch. Of, this is my third pair. I used to have a blue and white pair. And then my other pair was like a blue and gray pair. And now I have a blue and black pair. It looks blue. No, a blue and navy blue pair. It looks black. But blue and navy blue pair. These are always so cute. They're so much fun. And the bad thing is those that my other pair that I got last year, they were too big. So my foot slid off and hit the back all the time. And so it created holes really quickly because I wear my slippers a lot. So these will definitely get a lot of use out of these. And they're also really cute and they're knitted and they're, they're a lot of fun. Okay, next is one of the pops that Tabby got me. It's a Sarah Sanderson. She's been out for a while. She is my favorite. She is just, she's my favorite. She's so cool. She's definitely my favorite from Hocus Pocus, which I have not seen in a really long time. Like, I've seen it, but I haven't seen it, if that makes sense. I've seen, like, bits and pieces of it multiple times, and I know pretty much what's going on. I just haven't sat through and watched the whole thing. But anyway, we will show her off because she's easy to hopefully get out of here. At least I thought she was. Great. She's not easy to get out of here. Oh, 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 wait. Yes, there she is. She's got her spider and her hair is braided. Oh my gosh. She's so cute. She has her spider right there. And she's got, oh, she's got a little purple. Is that supposed to be there? Oh, it is good. Okay. I was like, oh no. She does feel a little weird here. She's got like ridges going on, but she's got her hair braided right there. You can see it. She's so pretty though. I like it. She's so pretty. You got her makeup and everything going on and her cape. She looks great. And I can spend too much time on these because I do have three more to get through. And two of them are new. Like, they're newer than her. And then the, and then uh, I have Alice from the Brave Bunch. And then I have um, Ann Wheeler from The Greatest Showman. And I have Michonne from The Walking Dead. The new Walking Dead wave that just came out. That has Judith and Alpha and everybody in them. So, yeah, we're going to get through the next one, which is Alice, my last, last Brady Bunch character that I needed. They don't have Mike and Carol, which I really hope they do. Now, Alice is very, very beat up. I just noticed. Like, look at that. She is very beat up. Look, right there. Uh, oh well. It's Alice. I needed her, so I guess we're just gonna kind of be like, ah, it's Alice. But, yes, finally, I have Alice been waiting to get her again for so long. I was hoping she'd go on sale somewhere. Like, I got all my other Brady kids on sale. I was hoping she would. Oh my goodness! <laughs> you okay, Alice? She's fine. She's fine. She's okay. She'll be fine. Anyway, here is Alice right here. You got her. Did they give her the blue buttons or the white ones? Oh, they gave her the blue ones! Okay. Because they had to, like, you know, change her buttons because they were originally like shiny and they had to keep doing dull spray on them so you wouldn't see the camera lights and stuff like that so then eventually they just changed them to blue and they gave her the blue ones so there we go so there's alice there's her hair right there and right there and over there so there we go there's alice she's great so happy i wish they would have done mike and carol though it would have been so cool if they did the rest of them I was thinking, like, maybe they would do the Mads Convention exclusive, and then that just never happened. And I was like, okay. I mean, they still have time to do Mike and Carol as a convention exclusive. I'm just saying, they still have time. Please. Because then we could really have them all completed then, you know? Okay, next we are going to do Ann Wheeler from The Greatest Showman. Now, I really, really, really need Philip Carlisle because of Zac Efron. But, <laughs> because of uh, Zac Efron. Anyway, here is Ann Wheeler, which is Zendaya's character. Which I love her pink hair and her purple outfit so much. It's literally the best thing when I saw The Greatest Showman and I saw her outfit and her pink hair. I was like, yes, yes, just to the whole thing. Obviously, you guys know I love purple. And then her pink hair is just amazing love it so much so she does come with a stand which is good because she does have a lot of hair so she probably does topple over oh yeah she wants to fall okay yeah she needs the stand for sure so make sure yours has a stand um but yeah here she is she is so pretty look at that in their gold boots i want to show you the back look at the cute little bows oh my gosh in her hair Look how, oh my gosh, she's so adorable. She, she's so adorable. I'm just so excited that, you know, I have a Zendaya pop finally. Because I need to get the MJ one still for Spider-Man. But she's so pretty. And look, she has her little pink makeup on too. She is so cute. Uh, 
I love it. I love it. I love it. Look at that. She's so pretty. Oh my gosh. She's... Oh, I love it. Okay. I'm getting really excited. I love her outfit and everything just so much. And I've seen that movie so many times. It's so great. If you haven't seen The Greatest Showman, really seriously, go watch it. Like, it, as long as you like musicals. If you don't like musicals, then it's probably not for you. <laughs> but it's a great movie. It's really good. So, yeah, we have her. And next is Michonne, which you guys know, Deny. I've met her before. So, obviously, I was like, yes, I have a new Michonne one. I need it. So, we have her right here. Here she is. She's great. Look at that. She's got her katana and they gave her her new hair everything oh my gosh and those are everybody on the back now i know there is an unmasked alpha that you can get in the walking dead supply drop kind of like how they did shiva in the walking dead supply drop but then they released shiva separately so i don't know if they're gonna do the same thing with alpha or not so okay michonne does come with a stand as well we are going to try and get her out of here that's right the walking dead comes back here soon yes i'm so excited Walking Dead does come back soon. And there she is. I want to be careful. I don't want to break her uh, katana here because it is movable. So just be really careful when you're taking her out of the box that you don't break that. Here she is. She looks so cool. Oh my gosh. Finally, I have... This is my first Michonne pop, actually. So I'm really excited about this. Because I started collecting Walking Dead pops really late. Because I remembered seeing them, but I wasn't really into, like, getting, like, collectible figures at the time. I was like, oh, no, why would I want to do that? I'm going to end up with a bunch of them. And then I did it when Stranger Things came out, and now I have a bunch of them. <laughs> so, it's, like, really good. Stranger Things started, like, collecting multiple. Because at first I collected, like, Harley Quinn and then Tinkerbell and, like, certain ones. I have Adventure Time ones. Like, I only collected certain ones. And now I have a bunch of them. So, yeah, that's my own fault. <laughs> But yeah, here she is. She is so cool. So I remember, I think what started off was probably my Honey Lemon one. Because I was like, okay, now I really like these things and I should get a bunch of them. Yeah, that was my own fault. <laughs> See if I can get her in here. Go in. There we go. And in Michonne goes. Back in there. Okay, that is our last for the pops. Woohoo! We are kind of moving through this. We're already at 20 minutes almost here. Let's get her in here. We do have quite a few other things to get through, which is why I'm trying not to take a super long time on these. Because we do have other stuff to get through. Okay. Next thing here. Oh, well, we only have a few things left. So, next thing here is I got these really cute shoes from Bait uh, Footwear here. I've, again, been wanting a pair from them for so long. And I got these really cute, like, 60s inspired shoes. And they are velvet. And they are gold. And look how cute they are. They're so cute. The heel, again, isn't super tall. I do have some heels that are really tall, and I don't wear them very often because of that, but as you can see, I've already worn them quite a few times. <laughs> I've been, like, wearing them around the house and everything just because I like them so much. And they are really, really cute. They do slip up a little bit in the back, and I got an... What size did I get in this? An 8. Because I typically wear, like, in Nikes, I wear, like, an 8.5, and, and so I wasn't sure what size to get, so I'm like, okay, well, let's just get the 8. And it does slip up a little bit, but I felt like a seven and a half would then be too small for me. And it, my foot would be crammed in it, so I'm just, you know, going with it. But yeah, they are really cute, though. And I wore them <laughs> on Christmas because they were really cute. And they match my 70s, like, clothes and everything perfectly. And I have this really cute dress that's going to look really great with these. I got from Forever 21 on sale. Um, I think the dress was only, like, I think I got the dress for, like, $5. It's this really cute green dress with, like, uh, flowers on it. They're, like, little, I want to say they're daisies with white daisies on it. And there it's going to look so cute with that dress. And I can't wait to wear them with that. See, so I have those, too. And I got this Wishables here, which is the Frozen Wishables. They started carrying these at the Disney store. Now, these were originally Disney Parks only, and the Disney store has finally gotten them. And I got... It's fun! Now, Tabby and I were feeling around and we thought that it was the grandpappy here, but it was Sven, which is great because look how cute. They are so cute. And I want, like, all of them, which is a problem because I originally was just trying to get, like, Elsa or Anna, but now I'm like, okay, now I need to try and get every single one of them, which is not a good idea at all. 
Because I'm going to end up probably with so many doubles and triples, but I want all of them. And my store has had only two of them left when I was there a few days ago. So, they are going pretty quickly. They did have a bunch of the Winnie the Pooh ones, though, which I want those too. So, that's good for me if they have a bunch of those. But, yeah, next thing here. Before I show you guys the really big stuff, we have the, I got the Taylor Swift Lover one. I got version four from Target. I didn't really care what version because I know there's just different exclusive stuff in each one. And I was like, eh, you can just get me one of the versions. It'll be fine. And then I got Little Mix number five here. Now, this isn't the deluxe edition because apparently that's only available in the UK. So I got this one, which is fine again for now. That works. And then I got some new Nike shoes because my black Nikes, I wear them all the time to Disney and everything and they are starting to get holes in them. So they're starting to get holes like right here, but I got these ones, just an all black pair. Again, I've worn these, I wore these yesterday, so they are a little dirty already. But I have the problem with back here, it hits my back and makes it red and the arches hurt because my feet, I do not have much of an arch at all. So hopefully that will help, maybe? Maybe that's a good thing that it has a really good arch support. Hopefully my arch will come back, maybe? I don't know. Maybe it'll help improve it. Okay, so next is one of the big things. This is the smaller of the two, but I got the Lego Friends set right here. I think my uncle bought me this, thankfully. It is so cool. It's Central Perk, and it's got everybody, and it's got uh, Gunther as well. He's right there. But look at that, it is so cool. Now I don't think I'm gonna build these. I want to, I say these because I have this one and I got the Stranger Things one, that's the next one. But it is so, so cool. It's Central Park, you got Rachel, you got everybody. And oh my gosh. Like and there's the side of it right there. This is so, so, so cool. Oh my gosh, I like opened this up and I was freaking out because look how cool it is. They have the cameras, not the cameras, but they have the studio lights. That's what I'm talking about. They have the studio lights there and there and it is just amazing. It is so cool. Like, look at that. And you can remove the couch too. And where does it show that at? Right there, you can remove the couch. It is, it's amazing. It's just amazing. And the next one, obviously, is the Stranger Things one, but this one is bigger and it's extremely extremely heavy <laughs> that's a workout i don't know how i'm gonna show you this one considering my camera doesn't move so i'm just gonna hold it up anyway this is over 2000 uh pieces it says right there 2287 so this is a lot and it does flip upside down it's will's house and it's the upside down version of will's house and the normal version of will's house you do have uh, lucas and dustin and mike and 11 and hopper and joyce and will and the demogorgon and it does come with Hopper's car as well, right there. And I'm going to try and flip it around so you can see the back of it. There we go. And it rotates and does have light up uh, Lego pieces. It shows you that right here, that the Lego piece lights up. And then it lights up this board because it shines on the board and the board will light up. It shows that somewhere. Oh, right there. <laughs> right there. It shows that right there. And yeah. It is so, so cool. My uncle got me this one, too. So, uh, thank you. Thank you. I don't know what to do with this. And I don't know where to put it. Because it's really heavy. <laughs> it's so heavy. And, um, yeah. I This is the thing that I'm like, do I build it? Because if I build it, obviously I'd do a video on building it. But at the same time, I also want to leave it in the box. Because once I build it, I don't know where I'm going to put it. And it's going to get dusty. And that would be a problem. <laughs> This is really heavy. I'm just going to leave it here. We're just going to leave it here. This is the last thing I have to show you. I've shown you everything else. So this is it. This is the last thing. Oh, besides, I got a Anna Bass Bomb that has a surprise inside. I haven't used it yet, so I don't know what's in it. Um, but I got that too. That's the only thing that I can... Yeah, that was the only thing I didn't bring it up here because it's glittery. And it would have gotten glitter all over the place. Because I literally just touch it and I'm full of glitter. And yet the bath bomb is enclosed, so you think, nah, that wouldn't happen, but it happens. It got glitter everywhere. <laughs> but I, yeah, it just glitter all over the place. So yeah, anyway, if you guys did like this video, leave a like down below, and I'll see you guys all tomorrow. Maybe, no, I won't see you guys all tomorrow. This is going up Friday. i gone tomorrow, um, and then... Sunday's my birthday, so I won't have a video up then. 
I don't think I will. Maybe I will. I might have video up Sunday. We'll see how I'm feeling after tomorrow because I'm going to be gone tomorrow. So we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. So yeah, like I said, I'll see you guys all Sunday or Monday. <laughs> Bye. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta put this down now. I don't know where to put it down at, so this is going to be real exciting, isn't it? We're just going to kind of, you know, do a little maneuvering, you know? Uh, oh, stop it, phone. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Okay! Okay, it's down. Uh, now I get to play the game, rearrange everything, so I do not, um, you know, fall uh, over. That'll be fun. <laughs> Bye, guys.